y'all, Jamie O here, and today I'll be talking about an herb that can cure chronic bronchitis and reduce scarring from burns. Hey y'all, so today I'll be talking about mustard seed. Um, so for those of you who actually know me, you're probably like, why on earth are you talking about something you're allergic to? So let me clear that up really quick. So generally if I go to something or there's something with mustard in it, um, I stay away from it and I usually tell people I'm allergic to mustard, which is not entirely true. Um, prepared mustard usually has an ingredient in it called turmeric and turmeric is a spice that is actually really good for you overall. However, it causes my throat to close up. So I do not use turmeric at all and I stay away from prepared mustard, which kind of leads into today's recipe. So stay tuned. So I actually so I actually was introduced to using mustard as a natural remedy for things like illness uh, such as chronic bronchitis, which is something I got a lot, especially when I was a teenager. Um, because my babysitter growing up actually used to give me mustard when I was sick. Um, my babysitter was actually an older lady who lived right across the street from us. Um, and she was really like a grandmother figure to me. And so I would end up spending the night at her house a lot because because my parents actually separated when I was younger. My dad owned his own business and my mom worked basically long hours. Um, so I ended up staying at her house a lot. And so I learned a lot from her as far as natural remedies for things, which I am very thankful for today. Um, so quite often, like I said, when I was younger, I would get a cough or some respiratory issues, especially bronchitis. And my babysitter would actually, instead of giving me, instead of giving me some type of medicine, and mind you, she was actually a nurse. She was a registered nurse. Um, she would actually give me a spoonful of mustard, um, and it would clear it right up. And so what happens is, so mustard naturally has heating qualities to it, and this comes out when you either crush the sea and or when you mix it with water or some other liquid, usually vinegar. And so when you ingest mustard, especially if you have a sore throat or a cough or something that's causing you to feel like you have kind of like cold like symptoms um the mustard will actually go into those tissues and pull out the mucus so the whole reason you cough is because you have mucus being secreted trying to get rid of the things that are irritating your throat or or the back of your nasal cavity so when you ingest the mustard the compounds within it actually go into those tissues and pull out the mucus and basically get rid of whatever it is that's causing the problem altogether. So by taking the mustard, you actually get better faster. Um, and I can speak to this. I actually, like I said, when my babysitter would give me that, I might have felt sick like late that evening. By the next morning, usually I was fine. Um, sometimes it would take maybe a couple of days, I de but I definitely got well faster with the mustard than I ever have without it. Um, and I learned this from one of our employees at our store. So there was one day where I was doing something. We, we cook a lot of fried chicken. We're known for our fried chicken. Um, and I was doing something in with the deep fryer. I don't know if I was putting chicken in or what happened, but I had splash back from the deep fryer. So, so we're talking like, 300 plus degree oil and something splashed and it went right in my face. It was like right around here and um, and it burned and it hurt and it was, it was terrible. And so actually one of our employees said, I know you're gonna think I'm so I sound crazy, but put some mustard on your face. And I did kind of think she was crazy, but one, I didn't want my face to get all scarred up and two, it hurt. And so I actually listened to her and she actually told me that she got this remedy from one of her former customers when she worked at another job. Um, the customer's wife had actually been badly burned in a house fire and her doctor actually told her to put mustard on the burns and she ended up not having any scars from that. So I actually tried it. As you can see, I have no scarring up here from that. And it also reduced the pain. So what happens is those same chemicals that heat up the mustard, which is basically a sulfur reaction, um, will actually help to reduce the pain and, and draw out the pain if you have a burn or even if you actually have joint swelling or aches, it can do the same thing. Um, and then the turmeric in the mustard, if it's prepared mustard. So in this case, you need to have prepared yellow mustard. Um, so the turmeric, the turmeric in the mustard actually helps to soothe and heal the 
burn itself. So the two things are working together. So really quick, because I did say I was allergic to turmeric earlier, it's fine if it's on my skin, it's just when I eat it that I have a problem. There's a ton of other great benefits for mustard, but I want to try to start keeping these videos a little bit shorter. I don't think they're terribly long now, but I'm going to actually be creating a blog very, very soon where you can get all of the information and in-depth information about each spice and how you can be using them in your everyday life in addition to these videos. <laughs> So like I said earlier, I cannot eat store-bought mustard. It's a rare occasion, I mean years in between, when I can actually find a mustard that I can eat from the store. So I make my own mustard. And so today's recipe is actually featuring Midnight Brewery's Not My Job Beer, which is a brown ale, one of my favorite beers. And basically it's just a pretty simple recipe. Um, I think we spend entirely too much money in this country on condiments. Um, I am not a big fan of condiments as far as like ketchup or sweet and sour sauce honey mustard like I'm just not into those things because I really like to taste my food but mustard can be used as a main ingredient in say making like a honey mustard baked chicken and by using the homemade mustard one you can throw in other spices to make it to make it taste a little bit different each time. And two, you're actually reducing the amount of sugar and salt that you're intaking. This recipe actually has no salt in it. It only has one tablespoon of brown sugar. And you're getting about half a pint of mustard out of this recipe. So that's really not bad at all. So you're not having the artificial preservatives in there. You're not having the extra salt or the extra sugar. So it's a lot healthier for you and it tastes a whole lot better. So even if you don't really care for mustard a whole lot, I will say try this recipe out. It's super cheap to make and it's super easy. As always, if you guys have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. Remember that Spicebox is not just a segment here on YouTube, it's also a monthly subscription and you can learn more about it in the description below. If you like today's video, please make sure you share it so you can help to empower others through food. And as always, a special thank you to my foodies on Patreon for making this project possible. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.